Hello and welcome. This video will walk you through how to understand your numbers on video. If you are actively posting your videos and you want to grow your YouTube channel, you want to use YouTube for your business and it's part of your overall strategy, then you need to watch this video. Start that you are on YouTube home screen and then you click on going your video and here you look analytics. And it will show you the last 28 days. You can check here and you can go through 90 days, 7 days. If you want to uh, review particularly your last 7 days, if you post it on a regular basis, especially if you do it more than once a week, then you can choose 90 days. It's not about the judgment. Numbers are neutral. I know, for instance, for me, if I look at 90 days and I have three subscribers, it's more pleasant numbers than if I look last 28 days and I have one subscriber. But the thing is, numbers are neutral, numbers don't lie, and it's just for you to take into consideration. And also look into the context of your activities. If you don't post on your YouTube channel on a regular basis, and if your previous videos didn't get views, then it would be difficult to expect that your YouTube channel is growing fast and, 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 and becoming viral overnight. However, sometimes your older video can pick up and YouTube starts promote them and you will be able to see that, oh, that particular video started doing so well. This is a peculiarity of YouTube that your videos can contribute to growth of your channel no matter how long ago you created them, as long as they are topical and useful. So if we take last 28 days for the sake of doing number party, because we look at your numbers one, once a month, you can apply number party to weekly activities as well. So it gives you overview straight away, like 98 views in the last 28 days, watch time, and it also does you comparisons that is 22 less views than usual but it's normal explanation here because I haven't been posting new videos as actively as I used to do it and here you see the reach again it's overall you see your impressions click-through rate you have your view when you go back to your table you fill in the metrics that are important to you so views number of videos you've done and so on and so on here we see engagement, so again, we want to see watch time and also average uh, duration time. And this is just to indication of your audience. Now come back to overview, and if we scroll down, it shows our top videos in this period. So this video was created in 2016, and for some reason it picked up and it, it became top video. This is a part of the challenge videos, that's why it's not going towards public videos because I know that it had more views since I was using creating clients on demand. This one is public video and I believe this is the only one which I posted on the in January. I know that YouTube is not like my best performing social media platform. And I try to understand if I post more, whether it will help my reach. So based on these numbers, I will make a decision what I'm doing the following month. And when you go to reach, you can look at the traffic source, external, uh, direct or unknown. Sometimes you can watch videos on, on mobile and you don't register traffic from the home page screen, home screen, and on the subscription uh, feed. So it's not only people who subscribe to your videos, but it, or YouTube shown it on home screen. And then from there, people are clicking. Then you can see traffic source proportional of your total traffic, Google search, Facebook, Gmail. So it means that somebody from my subscribers list went through, clicked on the video. And then it also shows you not subscribed, how many people are subscribed. As you can see, getting subscribers is great, but it's not the most important feature in, in terms of getting views. So, okay, so we click here on see more. 
and it's basically it shows you your videos in this series. You can see how many views you had for each video and some of them are public, some not. So you just lower the numbers that you register, you go through your overview. If you want to see numbers for your latest video, so you will see it here. It gives you overall view, so, and it shows you how it ranks in comparison to your 10 uh, last video. Funnily enough, so before your greeting 2021, this video didn't do really well. And one of my most successful was the interview on how to use Google Calendar. You can put this number in your table if you want to follow through how many subscribers you're gaining. Then total views, you can put watch time through. It's up to you what metrics you want to track and then you can look at your details in in depth so hope it helps if you have any questions ask away and